Brakathayahawa, Brakathayahawa Shai, Brakathayahawa, Brakathayahawa Shai, Brakathayahawa, Brakathayahawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahawa. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. Let the Mashinaka Badlaz, Kumi Shah Sharali, get the honest elders of Israel, being the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahab, Labachir Shah Sharali, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson by Harakha Khara Shah Maf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the title of this video is going to be something along the lines of What manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us? Okay, um, and that's the scripture. It's a quote from the from the book of First John. I'm gonna just hop right into it. First John, chapter three and verse one. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of Yahweh. What what manner of love? All right, here it is in the NLT. First John three and one. See. See how very much our Father loves us. Our Father, Yahweh, and the name was only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, loves us very much. And His love is shown to us in the form of this knowledge, in the form of this word, in the form of this wisdom, in the form of this faith, who is not given to everybody. In the book of Ephesians, the second chapter, it says, by Grace are you saved through faith, which is not of yourselves. It is a gift of Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. And he's given that gift to the ones that he loves, to the ones that he's going to save. In the book of Wisdom of Solomon, it talks about the special gift. Special gift. Special Salakia. This is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and 14. And blessed is the eunuch which with his hands have wrought no iniquity, nor imagine wicked things against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. For unto him shall be given the special gift of faith and an inheritance in the temple of the Lord more acceptable to his mind. Unto him that hath the special gift of faith. Which is not something that we obtain on our own. He, he's given us this special gift of faith. That's why it's called a gift, right? Unto him shall be given the special gift of faith. And what comes with that special gift of faith? An inheritance in the temple of the Lord more acceptable to his mind. An inheritance in his holy kingdom. Let me go from there to the book of Psalms real quick. Psalms. What is it? Psalms. Psalms chapter 37 and verse. I'll start at four. Delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Man, we got so much waiting for us. We can't even fathom. We can't even imagine. The reward that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to give to his servants. His saints that fear his name, small and great. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has entered into the hearts of men what the Lord has prepared for them that wait for him. Verse 5, commit thy way unto the Lord. We must be committed. I'm in a committed relationship with Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. That's where my loyalty belongs. That's where my faith lies. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass and he shall and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. It's not Psalms 37. Is it 36 and 7? Let's see. Psalms 36 and 7. How excellent is thy loving kindness, O power. Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. And it's not talking about all. Well, I'm looking at the NLT it says all humanity find shelter in the shadow of your. No, not all humanity find shelter in the shadow of the Lord's wings. It's talking about the elect. It's talking about the it, it applies to the nation of Israel, but first and foremost, the elect. 
All right. The Lord ain't dealing with these other nations. It says that in the book, of, also in the book of Psalms. He has not dealt so with any other nation. Praise Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. It was at Psalms 147. His statutes and his words he showed unto Jacob. He has not show, uh, uh, and he's not dealt so with any other nation. Praise Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Roughly paraphrasing. So it's talking about the nation of Israel starting with the elect. Verse 8, here's the point that I want to get. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house. That's the inheritance in his temple. Abundantly satisfied. Now that's going to tie in with that Peter we read later. It says, and thou shall make them drink of the river of thy pleasures. Wow, that's, uh, we, I can't even fathom. I can't even wrap my mind around how glorious that is. I just want to I just want to experience it. <laughs> These brains that we got, we can't access enough of our brain. And if we could, even if we could access 100 percent of these current brains that we have, it is still far short on what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has prepared for them that wait for him. It says that in the book of Psalms, no, in the book of Isaiah. But in Corinthians, when Paul quotes, it says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has entered into the hearts of men what the Lord has prepared for them that love him. And the ones that love him only love him because he loves them. If you're following me, he's put it in us to love him. OK, let's go from there to the book of Romans, the fifth chapter. Romans five. And verse three and not. Only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh not to be ashamed, because the love of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. So the Lord shows showed us His love, has shown us His love, shows us His love, right? Whichever form you want to put it in. Through what? Through giving us his Holy Spirit, man. Right? Being able to teach this word correctly and directly. The only way you can do that is, is if the spirit is with you. And if the spirit is with you, it's only with you because the Lord allows it to be with you, which means that he loves you. Right? I hope this is all making sense. It seems like I'm, I don't want to I don't want to seem like I'm talking in circles. Romans 5, let's read it again. Romans 5 and verse 5. And hope maketh not ashamed because the love of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. Let's look at some other translations. Romans chapter 5 and verse 5 in the NIV. And hope does not put us to shame because Yahweh's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. So he he's. Shows us his love by giving us this knowledge. He shows us this lo his love by giving us his spirit. By giving us this faith. By allowing us to teach and come into his glorious ministry. It says that he took us out of darkness into his marvelous light. He didn't take everybody out of darkness. He didn't take all of Israel out of darkness and bring them into, their, into his marvelous light. There's some Israelites that just can't get it. Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it and the rest was blinded. He blinded majority of Israel so that they won't be converted and healed. But he opened our eyes so that we can be converted and that we can be healed and that we can be saved. What manner of love? Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai has bestowed upon us and given us this knowledge, wisdom and understanding. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, we have received mercy, we faint not. This ministry is a form of mercy. Okay? I am loving this weather, man. This is some good ass weather. It's like fucking 50 degrees out here, man. It feels like 60. Been 60 all last week. Supposed to be 60 all this week. I'm not going to complain. Let's read that again. 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. This ministry is a sign of mercy, is a sign of love. Okay? 
So if you forsake this ministry, you're forsaking the uh, uh, the love of Yahweh by Shami Yahweh That's why it says in the book of Hebrews, if any man draw back, no, it says we are not of them that draw back unto perdition. You draw back, you draw back to death, destruction, perdition. It says if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Right? But we are of them that believe to the saving of the soul. I don't want to write this out. That's talking about me. I don't want to write this out. That's talking about you brothers, the sincere brothers, man. That's how we got to look at it. That's how we have to look at it. Hey, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai loves me. The most high in the name of his only begotten son loves me. That's why he has me teaching his truth. That's why he woke up my mind. That's why he opened my eyes. Okay? That's why he's giving me his holy name to praise and stand stiffly for. That's why he allows me to go through to survive these different trials and tribulations. It says that whom the Lord loveth, he chastise. Therefore, forsake not the chastening of the Lord. We go through what we go through because Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai loves us and he's perfecting us. So that when all hell breaks out loose, we'll be prepared for whatever is to come our way. So that we can endure through those things. As it says, he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. He's putting the spirit of endurance on us. Going back into that Romans, the fifth chapter that we read. Right? Salakia. This is Romans chapter five. In verse six, for when we are, uh, yeah, six, it says, for when we were without strength in due time, Mashiach died for the ungodly. Okay, this talking about because what we're in our sins, right? For God so loved the world. It's not talking about all humanity. It's not talking about everybody on the earth. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. It's talking about the nation of Israel, starting with the starting with his elect, starting with his chosen, the creme de la creme, the cream of the crop, the first fruits. Okay. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son to reconcile us back onto him. What manner of love? I'm amazed. I'm wooed. Okay. Romans 5 and verse 7. And, and just, just being able to get wooed is all of the Lord. Man, there's been guys around us, man. They'll fake a smile. I, I, <laughs> we'll be at class and Matthias will be like, you know, there's some, there's some brothers that'll be wooed, but they just, they just don't, it's not clicking yet. You know, cer certain things we're going into, it just, it just won't click at that moment. So then we break it down, you know, and, and we make sure that they understand. And then they'll be like, oh, I see it now. You know, on certain breakdowns, certain topics that we go into. But Matthias will be like, man, y'all niggas not wooed. <laughs> and brothers know Matthias. Right. And there was guys that actually wasn't wooed. It wasn't. They'll fake a smile. Oh, yeah. They really didn't get it. Or it wasn't really clicking or it just didn't excite them. Going into different breakdowns and getting certain knowledge of precepts and understanding of chapters. It didn't woo them. It didn't excite them. It didn't do nothing. It didn't have no effect to their soul. It didn't have a no effect to their spirit because they wasn't of the Lord. Because they wasn't of the Israel of God. I still get excited off of Deuteronomy 7 and 6. He has chosen you to be a special people above all people upon the face of the earth. And I pray Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai never takes that excitement out of me. What it, what it, I think it was King David, the psalmist, he said, man... Let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth if Jerusalem don't be the praise of my... And I can't even quote it right. Pray, um... Is it praise... Zion? Is it say Zion or Jerusalem? Man, I can't quote it. If someone knows the quote, man, 
This is Psalms 137 and 6. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. And this is our chief joy. And also in the book of Psalms, it says. Look, we looking to go back home. There's niggas that don't get excited about the kingdom. And everything that it entails. I get excited or not. Bro, I can. My imagination can go as far as it possibly can. And it still falls short. How is that not exciting? How does that not charge you up? Psalm 73 and verse 25. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire but thee. None upon earth. That's all I have. This is all I got. Anything else in this world can be taken away from you. Anything else. That child, that little boy that looks just like you. Got your whole face, all your mannerisms. Your last name. Can be taken away from you, from that dumbass bitch. From that dumbass devil Esau eat him in this flawed ass system. That beautiful little girl, same thing. The girl version of you. <laughs> Right? Daddy's girl. She can be taken away from you, man. But he can't touch this. He can't take this. Store up your treasures in heaven where moth and rust do if not corrupt, where thieves do not break through and steal. Okay? It says... Psalms, and that's why we need the kingdom. And that's why we need the kingdom. Plain and simple, man. All right, let's go back to Romans 5. Romans 5 and verse 7. I read that, I read that. Yeah, pretty sure this is where we at. Romans 5 and 7. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet, peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. Showing you what, how the, the is the word levity or the, the heavy, I'll say the heaviness. Of what Yahweh Shai came and did for us. I don't want we, we're the elect. It starts with us. I don't want Ratazah we the elect. It starts with us, man. Verse 8. But Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai commanded his love. Just like you. But Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai commended his love toward us. And that while we were yet sinners, Mashiach Yahweh Shai died. That's how he, he showed it. That, that's, that's the greatest form of love. That's, I, I want to say John 15. Greater love have no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. That's so heavy to me, man. That is so heavy. John 316 is so heavy. Fuck these so-called Christians, man. Fuck a vocab. Fuck a Papa Doc. <laughs> that nigga say it, nigga Eminem. Fuck a Papa Doc, a Glock. <laughs> Fuck a vocab, a cherry love. All right. And all the rest and all the rest of these fucking enemies of the cross, man. Fuck every, all the enemies of Mashiach Yahweh Shai, man. And all the enemies of the elect. Okay. It says, but Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, I'm going to read an NLT. But Yahweh by Shem, but Yahweh showed his great love for us. What manner of love? His great love for us by sending Yahweh Shai Mashiach to die for us while we were yet sinners. Even in this life. Jake going clean off. Complete niggas. And he brought us out of that darkness. Into his marvelous light and given us his holy ministry. Therefore, we can't faint, man. I can't go back to darkness. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai forbid. Verse 9. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Let's read that in the NLT. And since we have been made right in Yahweh's sight by the blood of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, fuck you niggas. In the, I'm going to just be blunt and straightforward. Fuck the fuck. Niggas in Sakari, you niggas in Sakari that teach that you don't got to worship Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. Okay? 
It says, if any man receive not the love of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, let him be a curse. Let him be a Natha Mamar Natha, which means curse to the dire's woes till the Lord comes. Okay? Talking about you. The scripture say, kiss the son lest he be angry with you and you perish from the way. So that's exactly what's going to happen to these niggas, man. You're going to perish from the way. All right? It says, and since we have been made right in the sight in Yahweh by, in Yahweh's sight by the blood of Yahweh Shai, he will certainly save us from Yahweh's condemnation. Man, the water Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And you got niggas that get mad, man. They can't say nothing with that. They can't go a full sentence without saying Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. I'd rather be saying Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai than God in Christ. You had that video come out with Nate, every other word, Jesus. His name is not Jesus, man. All right? Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's the name of the only begotten son. Jesus Christ. So you mean to tell me that we are with Christ in the dark age? Bro, you don't even got the name. Why are you even talking? Why are you even teaching? The prophets always came in the name of the Lord. In the name of Yahweh. In the name of Yahweh Shai. There's no other name given amongst men whereby we must be saved. Christ ain't it. You got the nerve. Yeah, don't listen to these dumb, these dumb Israelites. Mm, fuck out of here, man. Starting to get fucking tired of this shit, man. Tired of hearing this bullshit. But, hey, it gotta be so. It's all a part of prophecy. Okay? It's all a part of what will happen in these last days. So let's go from there. Damn, I even hit this. Uh, Well, let me read this. Since first John four, first John chapter four and verse nine, and this was manifest the love of Yahweh toward us, because that Yahweh sent His only begotten Son into the world that we might live through Him. Whoo! Here in His love. Not that we love Yahweh, but that he loved us and sent us his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Wow. My goodness. Beloved, if Yahweh so loved us, we are also to love one another. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, that ye love one another. Okay, the law hangeth upon this, that you love Yahweh, our power, which Yahweh Shai was saying it, but that we love Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai with all our heart, all our soul, all our spirit, all our body. And the second is like unto this, that you love your neighbor as yourself. Okay, that's how we got to move. And if we moving like that, that shows that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai's love is within us. Okay, let's go from there to... So we in 1 John. Let's finish that 1 John. 1 John 3 and 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of Yahweh. Therefore, the word that we should be called his sons. And we know that we Israelites, man. We're not black. We're not niggas. We're not spicks. We're not Mexican. We're not Hispanic. We're not Latinos. We're not Native Americans. We're the Israelites. We're the princes of the power. We're the sons of God. Okay? The sons of the most high power. And that's powerful to know that. Not all Israel knows that. Not all Israel accepts that. Is able, not all Israel is able to accept that. Yeah, they're Israelites. But the Lord don't let them acknowledge it. That's heavy, man. It says, though Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant shall return. Think about the, all the sand on the seashore. And he went and picked each grain that he wants to have his name, to have his truth in its entirety. We ain't got no holes in our doctrine, man. This guy's teaching, yeah, after a thousand years in the kingdom, Esau's going to come out of the mountains with a bunch of weapons and he's going to come and try to take us down. 
But that shows you the elect, and Yahweh Shai is not going to be there. I can't tell you where they're going to be at. Ain't got the nerve to call someone dumb. This guy's still calling on Christ. We could have been one of them niggas in, in, his, in his classroom. Four hour classroom. Taking notes on that shit. Blind in a hole. With a purple t-shirt taking notes. Damn, this deep thousand years. Esau going to rise up into the king. Come on now. The water y'all about show me how shot. That we ain't lost, man. Imagine you wake up to still be lost. You woke up and still sleep. <laughs> and that's the case with a lot of Israelites, man. Still don't got it. Still lost. You can have, look, if you're given directions and you go off on one, two directions, that man will never hit his de uh, destination. The, the, all the directions got to be on point, man. Okay, so Tawadi Yahweh Bashem Yahushai for allowing us to follow the right shepherds, the right teachers, the right watchmen. The eyes shall see thy teacher saying this is the way, walk ye in it. I'll give you shepherds which will feed you and not leave you lacking. That's 100%. That's truth in its entirety. I will set watchmen upon thy walls which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Okay. 1 John 3 and 1, Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of Yahweh. Where, therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are beloved. That's the name of what? The house of David. And they're going to have this word. They're going to have this truth. They're going to have this wisdom. They're going to have this faith. They're going to have this ministry. As a sign of mercy, going into Isaiah 55, talks about what? The tender mercies of David. In the form of this knowledge, in the form of this ministry. Right? Be, beloved, now are we the sons of Yahweh, and it doeth not yet appear, right, which is what? The adoption. In the land where you were called not a people, you shall be called the sons of the living power. And that's talking about Israelites. The adoption, you have to be an Israelite to be adopted. When you go into that word adoption, it's the Greek word hyotasia, which means the relationship that the Lord established with the Israelites in preference of the other nations. Not He hath not dealt so with any other nation. Hereby know ye the spirit of Salakia. Page switched. Beloved, now are we the sons of Yahweh, and it doeth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. We shall be, Salakia, when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. He gonna change our vile bodies that it be Liken unto his glorious body and it all starts with this wisdom. We're already been transformed. This word has already been transforming us. This word has already been changing us and perfecting us. So when Yahweh Shai comes, who is the word in, in, in body, right? Who is the word when he comes, he's going to finish the transformation process. Says that in Philippians. He that began to work in you will perform it. When you go into that word perform, it means to perfect. Matter of fact, let's just grab it. Philippians 1. Philippians chapter 1 and verse. Damn, where is it? Philippians 1 and 6. And being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it into the day of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And the NLT it says, And I am certain that Yahweh, who began the good work within you, will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Yahweh Shai returns. Woo! That's heat, man. Who will change our vile bodies that it may be likened unto his glorious body. And again, we can't even fathom. We don't know what we shall shall be, but we know we're going to be like him and see him as he is. And he said, well, I'm not going to meet you as a man. Right? Back in 1 John 3 and 3. And every man that have, his, have this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. We in that furnace being purified, man. It says in the book of Micah 3 that the Lord will sit as a refiner's fire and uh, full of soap and he will refine them okay roughly paraphrasing um that's it on that so i'll get one more uh second peter 
second Peter chapter one in verse one, Simon Peter, a servant and apostle and an apostle of Yahweh Shai Mashiach to them that have obtained like precious faith, a special gift. Right. Like precious faith with us through the righteousness of Yahweh and our and our savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of Yahweh and of Yahweh Shai, our Lord. Grace and peace has been given unto us. Through what? Through the knowledge. Through this word. Okay? Mercy. Love has been given unto us through this ministry. Through this wisdom, through this faith, which is how we are going to be saved and delivered into an everlasting, glorious kingdom. Having that said, Lord willing, I was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachachorash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Rachachorash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. Apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that were well. Shalom, Wahabla, Bachir, Shasharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom, Achim, brothers, keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draweth nigh, and redemption is near than we believe. Shalom.